So we're focusing around this EG spectrogram spectrum. We have this app, a flask application that looks like this. Will actually execute? Yes. A can select your channel, change the window size that doesn't work, turning the trending on and off. Well, main problem is that we do not see anything that our channel that is undefined. Why? Yeah, if the filter order is too high, we get that as well. Okay, filter uh, filter order is fine. What's the default value? Zero? It's not zero. Yeah, five. I have any errors we have the data displayed yeah there's a triple a click a whole spectrum is actually not showing anything uh, right we we need a developer <laughs> a software developer a full stack <laughs> uh, yeah ChatGPT 4 thing default and we normally start um so we have those um prompts 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 we already used them before start with this code right so we started we had the beginning of a code that another bot actually created so we have the continuation of that you can obviously tell uh, that we are using a, <laughs> a color scheme but that's a bit yeah messy I have to clean it up can do it later yeah that filter order we actually changed the default raw signal which is not showing any signal a window size a input is not a thing the charts a also yeah whole spectrum is not working properly how did you know yeah, i'm not sure about the frequency scale yeah frequency scale as if we don't have the play button. We don't have the scroller as well. File scroller is missing. A make sure second chart has frequency as x axis and power as y axis. A raw signal chart is not showing any signal. Also make sure the chart is time as x-axis and the uh, amplitude as y-axis okay so we have those a uh, prompts play button is missing as well right so let's start with index html uh, let's generate for a bit just to make sure it's actually read the thing the javascript okay stop generating the javascript and the actual flask application python code okay we can stop generating that this is the third file the python code still generating okay we can stop that and now we have our prompts with all the issues that we are having i think this should be plenty by now this is what it's currently looks like there's a lot of problems with that I also make sure the linear logarithmic scale should be applied yeah the file scroll is updating the charts that's a good idea make sure log a linear scale is changing meant to be the x axis of the second chart that's right so we have a bunch of prompts ready to pop in and yes, we celebrating 100 years will be in uh, so so the first human EEG was recorded by Hans Berger back in 1924. So we're celebrating that well next year. By the way, the more bands we're currently doing only alpha, beta, theta, but there's also gamma, which is pretty much anything above 32 hertz, and also mu between 8 and 12. It's the same as alpha like filtered differently or something i don't know but yeah alpha beta delta theta should be a good start uh, several issues yeah it didn't generate any code yeah i would like uh, i would like you to hold my hand and give me step by step uh, guidance so essentially it's saying too too much 
too many too many prompts at once in correct time and amplitude data so that's a good start okay and the process eg function in python we have a process eg function somewhere over here a filter data right over here using the field field function converting to least the forward backward basic filter is it the same is it uh, yes so why did you mention it so when returning the json json phi have filtered data whole spectrum so filter data has a channel number b a right we're already doing a butterworth uh, filter maybe it's a band pass right those are the coefficients and then the coefficients are being used in here so that's that should be fine filter order is taken from the taken from here no from there it's suggesting that we are not a uh, passing uh, the right values as uh, so instead of that into json i want to pass this doesn't make sense though uh, can you explain this can we use copilot for that it's a generic generic can copilot do this filter data and other bands front end this is in javascript i think this this makes more sense is the oh okay so now it's displaying something this is obviously wrong should be starting uh, of uh, filter of delta is unstable that's normally when we need to decrease the order of the filter so now it doesn't say unstable anymore but it's also not showing anything useful okay so because we, we haven't also finished uh, uh, modifying the code so we have this time that's correct so we need to parse channel number to integer pretty sure it's already an integer so we're already doing that um we need to replace channel number get element by d channel number wouldn't be an integer already so what's talking about verify that you're receiving correct data yeah console log is not a bad idea let's just see if a uh, turning delta is unstable what so there are no nans before we had a problem with nans getting a channel that is undefined we show we have this already already showing some data is this what is this product yeah this is quite uh, common a html container called raw signal it does exist now let's try a uh, something unusual and uh, let's try this let's try print screen straight into gpt4 uh, this is the front end how to fix yeah that's what i thought that's probably not the case now there is nothing when zooming in uh, where's the top is this still giving me that uh, right well it's still giving me that undefined it's giving me some data okay we have to um let's try copilot for let's go a uh, back to the window this raw signal js raw signal plot raw signal data this one appearing twice it's giving the same thing so no what's up am i plotting that or no was essentially uh um, empty are they the yeah, object has property field data and if the filter data product has an array element at the index so this should be true unless better explanation of this 
Yeah, there's a confusion with the names when calling without any conditions. Yes, this plotly can be replaced. Uh, first, in the HTML, we need this value smaller to a uh, second. Uh, let's plot raw signal. Why and why is undefined? Check the data source. A uh, raw signal. <laughs> it's just an example. What is the data structure? So this filtered data has a uh, different bands. You should have the whole thing as well. So whole spectrum data. Can you fix this for us? I don't know how to do it. It's in JavaScript. It's already there. Yeah, filtered data would not have a channel number. Okay, let's try this again. Channel number be passed on in another way. Understand what's the why is it not able to fix the problem uh, let it run first of all we having an issue in javascript and uh, line 29 yeah we're having a problem with this uh, server client data exchange yeah why is the channel number in the filtered data it shouldn't be there yeah no that's what i have but uh, no, that's the other problem with JSON that's always strings in Python channel current channel data data we should already have we're already converting it to list doesn't make any sense at all okay currently what we have is not exactly working make sure it's showing signal and make sure window size is what is updating the charts all spectrum is working properly and file scroller is input make sure file scroller is updating the charts make sure the log linear scale is changing the x-axis of the second chart uh, do not generate any code yet uh, because it won't be able to do it in one go I'll ask it to regenerate the files one by one uh, make sure no missing bits so place all the code all the region code that remains the same and okay, let's do index html first Mm, what's up with that? Let's make and changes. There would be additional modification. New function to add a file. It's not file input. Silly goose. It's file scroller. No, there's only one file. File scroller. It's a horizontal file scroller to move through the file again from here something went wrong here's the plan a uh, raw signal charges by the signal why data variable contains the correct channel yeah that's that will be nice a uh, window size second chart so it essentially should be similar to this but with quite a few changes a, but should have a file a scroller like that and yeah play button scroll during the charts it's the file horizontal scroll move through the file yep scroller slider sounds good yeah we will need to update update the uh, css come on why are you ignoring uh, my instructions still generating make sure to ink Load all necessary code. I'll hit the limit, wouldn't I? And the 50, what's it now? 50 prompts. Yeah, 50, a cap of 50 messages every three hours. It's meant to be moving windows. So. Yeah, now it seems to generate a whole code without any missing parts. Okay, it's still generating. I don't know why it stopped. 
can give it some more time or just stuck here for whatever reason what's going on it's not bad why gpt4 is getting stuck a lot recently network error that's why should i regenerate restart the window the css should have been using the colors we'll change it in a sec now this javascript he JavaScript last application the Python code it's loading something takes a while not getting any errors not getting any data okay, let's stop this for a sec a control shift C the one we got an error with so this is the Python code now we had an update to the javascript that wasn't complete and another one that is not complete said no placeholders yeah i guess redoing it several times kind of helps let's start again shall we and what we currently have and this isn't working so default gpt4 uh, we have this first create a last update is by this eg in the time and frequency domains the app should have a file scroll play by frequency scale I'm sure about the frequency scale selector should also have a filter order <laughs> let's see <laughs> that's crazy it's a crazy long uh, prompt sending an outline yeah forget about the requirements file and we said do not generate any code okay and we want the bot to keep uh, generating creating yep creating api route fetch update the database to the input there's a post request that makes sense so templates is fine a lot of to do's does it look like we got the html in the app on egjs it is a JavaScript. Now the style CSS we want it in this colors, these variables. Let's see what we got. What's that? Okay, it's not much. Go through the whole prompt, but it ignored a whole heap of stuff. A HTML would look something like this it's pretty basic you would expect it to window size is okay it's not using json so i might keep changing its mind as if it has a mind assume it does because that's what it was suggesting me doing if the charts are not showing anything skip it nice and simple had a better version of it already but then it got too complicated 51 in js generic stuff so we do have this error do we have channel selector I use copilot for populating that a 16 channels can we do it differently um right yes yeah, start button hey, no there's no stop button okay let's go <laughs> back to gpt okay, instead of that um, index html update regenerate the whole code see what it does what did I ask for index HTML? Right, <laughs> now it's generating HTML, okay. So this would be the same, obviously, by channel number, window size. Ideally, those will be scrollers, but that's okay. So why it's refusing just to do the whole lot? Why not just complete the code? Still generating. Do want the signal obviously. So 
really have an ID there. Yeah, plot is fine. Generate O E G J S. Well, you can do it. Something have changed. It's not generating whole whole files. Fetch data. Yeah, time amplitude frequency power. That's correct. That's exactly what I want. That looks much better. Still not work. So we don't have the JSON file. Hey, we want the whole pie. Okay, I can only assume it's working better when it's uh, nighttime in the United States or something. Because uh, it's actually uh, generating complete the uh, code. Um, is it? It's shorter than what I had before. JSON file. Define constant. Stuff about the file. And that looks legit. Okay, changed. Meant to be capital. Can't read of capital letter. And uh, this looks pretty, pretty basic. Yet data. So the same. No, we do want FS. It's actually FS in uh, non capital. Uh, letters get data. Name signal is not defined. Yep, we reached the current cap. Yeah, I thought I will reach it much uh, sooner. I only reached it like in two hours. So I did more than uh, 30 prompts. Uh, what's it? 50 prompts per three hour rate. Now it's giving me a timeout of almost one hour.